Good morning everyone and God bless you all today. I hope each and every single one of you have a has a safe day and a positive day, you know? Whether you're going to work or you are you at home today, you're just ch chilling, you know, are you going out somewhere nice, you know, like with the family? Positive vibes to you all today, friends. I hope that, you know, God meets your needs and not your greeds. Well, to be honest with you, I'm going to the gym and uh, I forgot to make myself like a cup of coffee before gym. So I had to go and get like a, an emergency coffee, only a cold coffee in one of the shops. And also a little trick like what I like to um, take as well, sometimes before I work out is a boost bar. <coughs> <coughs> I'm only going and really doing um, press-ups, sit-ups, uh, running for about 40 minutes today. Uh, what else? Rowing and a bit of bottom-back work, you know? Keep me busy anyway. You know what I mean? Because if you don't train, you know, you can soon stiff it up. And stiffening up isn't good. Anyways, that isn't really too much of what I was wanted to share with you all today. I wanted to share with you all today one of the worst things what I've ever seen. One of the worst things I've ever seen. And trust me, I've seen some um, very, very bad, bad things in my life. <clears throat> some very, very bad uh, horrors, you know? You know what I mean? But... I remember once, right, I was working for a contracted company through the council and I was in charge of, of like um, keeping an eye on parks, okay, you know, you know, sorting out like the wildlife and things during the daytime, sorting out customer service and the public, you know, locking up parks at night, okay. I was in charge, you know, like a park keeper. And one day, it was a lovely red hot summer's day. And I mean a red hot summer's day. The sun was shining down, it was red hot. And I was in my office, okay? Now, all of a sudden, I heard a bang on the office door. And an old Irish man, I worked in a cafe at the side of me. Come in and said, he said, Robert, I said, quick, quick, grab, grab the first aid box, someone's been stabbed. So I runs out and there's absolutely police everywhere. There's a helicopter flying down, there's, there's police everywhere. Uh, and some poor man was laid there dead, stabbed to death in a children's playground. Now I'd obviously, you know, like him, ran out with a first aid box. You know what I mean? But there's nothing what I could do. The man's life was already taken from him. You know what I mean? Apparently, there's a local man in, in, in like the London area, yeah? And he had beef with some of of a family. Probably over drugs. And some man took his life. Stabbed stabbed him right up, killed him. Now that man all had died, left behind children, you know, family and everything. Now I want to take you to a scripture in the Holy Bible. I don't know what chapter and verse it is, but I can remember the words. It says, for what is your life? It is but a vapour. It's here for, for, for a little while, then it vanisheth. And, sorry. And, Looking at life, you see a vapour of steam 
come out of your kettle in the morning when you boil your kettle yeah your life is like that you know One moment it's here, and then the next it's not. And I want to say these, say these words, like, listen, you know, tomorrow is not promised to anybody whatsoever. It isn't promised to me, and it certainly isn't promised to you. Friends, my honest question to you today is though, are you right with Jesus Christ? Have you got Jesus Christ as your Lord and Saviour? Have you truly repented of your sins and accepted the, accepted the Lord into your life? Believe that, that He is the Lord and Saviour and He died on the cross for your sins and that He was buried in the tomb and He rose again on the third day. You know what I mean? Have you been baptised? Have you become a real born again Christian? Because the Lord Jesus Christ tells us in the Holy Bible, in John chapter 3 and verse 3, He says, unless a man is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. You know what I mean? You've got to be filled with God's Spirit, born again. You know what I mean? Because if you aren't, and if you die as a sinner, <coughs> you're not going to hellfire. And friends, one way or the other, we're all going to die. Whether you were murdered or you ran over or you die of a heart attack or you die of old age. Every single one of us in this life is all going to pass away one day. And your soul has to be right with God because if it isn't, then you won't make it to heaven because you're not saved by His grace. And you will end up burning forever in a lost eternity of, of, of a hellfire. It's time to take God serious. Listen, I've not always been a perfect Christian. Some of you people are like, from like my old videos and that, you know, when I was getting drawn into arguments and things, you could probably think, well, Bob isn't being like very Christian like there. And you're right, you know what I mean? So I have to also check myself. I have to get into my Bible, keep my personal relationship going with God. But have you got a personal relationship, a relationship with God? That's the question for you, for, for you all today. Anyways, have a blessed day. Stay safe. Stay warm. Stay blessed. Stay happy. Look after your loved ones. And follow the good Lord. Take care. Bye bye, friends.